when we started the clubs you have to understand that we are in a city that it's officially in the countryside it's one hour drive from sao paulo it's not a place where people were would originally go to to have an experience like that you know like a, a cows or club 88 but the whole idea and what we've been doing for the past 10 years is to really build up a scene in that place and promote artists and music that we believe in so it's really about building something up you know because it's not like sao paulo that's really established you know so it's exciting as well because we have many opportunities and we also you know like with the clubs we we booked many artists like some really big names for the first time in the region mm -hmm. so i think we're doing something that's become really meaningful you know like people are gonna look back and think that <laughs> we did something really special back nice. then you know yeah. so it, it's for both club it, it is about really promoting this music and artists that we believe in and build up this scene in Campinas and region. In Brazil, it's a country of continental proportions. So when you travel all over Brazil, like I have the chance to, you notice how different each part of the country is. Like North is completely different from South in terms of what moves them musically or and also like culturally you know cu culture in brazil is so diverse in terms mm -hmm. of even accent food um you know everything's like completely different from you know each part of the country it's so huge so yeah i mean one of the most challenging things for me is to play in all these places and still keep my personality as an artist but also read what mm -hmm. these people want or respect from me you know and also like when you travel so much you get in touch with all these local artists that have amazing work you know that's you know sometimes you, you you never heard of this producer and he has amazing music mm -hmm. you know so it, this is one of the the best things about traveling all over brazil you know is getting to know all these amazing different inspiring music this sound completely different my career as a dj has always been quite solid but for the past four years so that i became really successful in brazil um for me um the biggest challenge was really to find out was what was my personality as an artist musically there are times what i was I, I did feel a little bit lost i didn't know which where to go if i would go like more for more show and make more money or i would mm. keep myself faithful to what i loved and believed in and maybe started out like a little bit slower and I think I chose the right path, you know, it took me really a long time to have a career where I can really make a living out of DJing. So it took me like more than 10 years to say, okay, now I can really give up everything else mm -hmm. and make a living as a DJ. It's a long time, mm -hmm. you know, but it's a little bit of a price to pay maybe, but it was my choice and I'm very happy that I chose that because it, it really pays off in terms of you being feeling fulfilled and happy with the choices you made you know with the clubs in brazil uh i did go through some really tough times you know we had one club shut down in like 10 years ago and we don't get any official support because electronic music is still kind of seen as something that's really drug related mm -hmm. or um, maybe too controversial or too um, political sometimes you know like people some people still have this idea of electronic music they don't really see how much money the industry uh, generates mm -hmm. you know 
so for the you know I've been running clubs for almost 20 years and working in an environment where you don't really get any support or you're paying this huge amount of taxes and dealing with uh, a big economic political crisis in Brazil right now and most of the international artists, you know, like we have to deal with the dollar rates that are huge. So, uh, you know, like running clubs, it's really challenging. Um, we have to, to uh, really stick to this vision that we, we believe in. And I don't know, I don't want to do anything else for my life. So. Constantly, I have to say, okay, you know, there are people who really trust us and believe in what we do. When this is so, you come back, why? Like yeah. to the thought, why? I, why did I start this? Yes. What is the love? You have to it? remind yourself mm. over and over again because there are times when you know things are not that easy. And um, but you know, if if you don't do it, who's gonna do it? <laughs> you know? Yeah, that's the spirit. Definitely. Yeah, I think you know. When you look at it, for a lot of people, you know, people think it's easier when you're a woman in the industry because there are not many or because people are curious about seeing a woman playing. But when you have to deal with the fact that um, they're not, I don't think it's every country, but in Brazil, there's not, there are not many female artists in lineups of big events or clubs as um, male artists or we don't make as much money or we don't have as many gigs and you know I was very lucky because I always had a, a, a work as a you know club owner and as a booker in the past so people always knew me when I started DJing I was already working in the scene for, for a while mm. so I never had to deal with all the really tough things that girls had to deal with you know so, well, I think it's not, I wouldn't say that being a woman is a problem, but there's a lot of issues that we have to work on in the industry, you know, to make it more equal, more balanced, you know, more uh, women to, to get more respected, you know, like, because you, you kind of get used to being questioned, have your talent mm -hmm. question or value question, or it's always like you. Um, I mean, people don't say it out loud, but you know that happens. It's it's in it's between the lines, mm -hmm. you know. I think, uh, like especially in Brazil, there are a lot of really, uh, really good. Uh, promoters and parties that uh, are also they're not only parties or events but they're also a political uh, they, they also act politically so especially in Sao Paulo I think what makes Sao Paulo seem so good right now and people from all over the world are paying attention is that this group of promoters are really vocal about being more inclusive mm -hmm. and not only with women but mm -hmm. you know like with different social classes um, with the L L LGBT community mm -hmm. as well to, to create this really mixed group of people not only in the lineups but as, as you know club goers, mm -hmm. party goers. Digital in Sao Paulo, I played for them twice and both of them are really special for different reasons. Um, you know, they're amazing events, really well curated and uh, both of them have a very special place in, in, in my heart and in my career. Uh, they, I think it's a really, you know, it's really something that stand out in, in my history. Warung Day festivals that uh, is the festival run by organized by Warung Club. Mm -hmm. It's also um, it's one of the most important festivals in Brazil so it's 
also uh, I have built up a very special connection with the people, you know, with the crowd. So uh, it's always very emotional when I play there. Uh, I'm really excited about playing at the um, uh, Time Warp. Mm -hmm. You know, I've been there last year as a, <laughs> a punter. And uh, yeah, in terms of production, it was amazing. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I think happiness is a process. It's not like on one, ex you know, like one, just one moment, you know, but uh, what I, the feeling that I have right now, that's really about fulfillment and doing what I love and being the, with the people that I love, being with my family, being healthy. You know, mm. this is this is what happiness is for me. You know, I I can't really think of happiness being only linked to having like success in, a, mm -hmm. in, in what I do as work, but it has to do a lot, a lot with being with and sharing this with people that I care about and love. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you so much Thank for you. taking the time. <laughs>